with this show, I'm feeling it should be a little explosive. Who's gonna come out today, ho? Chris is a dog to my sister. He is a cheater. So she says she walks in, your legs are wrapped around Chris. Never, never happened. What if I told you we had a videotape? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I, 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 she's, you know, sneaking in the bathroom while he's in the shower. She's flirting with him. If I find out this room, both of y'all is over with. Here's your chance. Did you sleep with her? That's true. That's true. This Marine failed for abusing a disabled boy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, mean, I hope. That every time you go down the street, that you never say that you're a Marine. He's like that to you. There is no Marine that I ever met that would do this to a mentally disabled child. A kid that has no way of defending himself. You are a disgusting, vile person. You won't believe why he's back. Katrina believes her sister Kendra's boyfriend is a cheater. But that's not all. She also believes he's having sex with her best friend, Nene. Take a look. I'm here because my sister told me that she has suspicions that my boyfriend and my best friend are messing around with each other. If I find out that they is messing around, it's over with for both of them. I've been with Chris for about a year. We have a baby together. And me and Nene have been friends for over five years. Now that I look back on it, I can see like the things, like little things, like with them staring at each other. When Nene comes around, he like the flex, get up, dance, you know, show off, try to take off his shirt, show his little body off, you know, stuff like that. One day, me and my sister was coming in the house. They was both sitting on the couch. They jumped up, acting all weird and stuff. So that's another reason why I think that they've been messing around. After five years of being friends with Nene, I expected more out of her. I hope what my sister said, I hope it's not true. I hope that I'm like imagining things or whatever. I love Chris and I really want things to work between us. I believe that Nene is Screwing around She's with my sister it. boyfriend, yes. I don't believe nothing he says. I believe nothing she says. I never had liked her. I don't like her. She's, you know, they. she comes over. She's flirting with him. She's, you know, sneaking in the bathroom while he's in the shower, seeing the text messages, telling her to come in the bathroom while he naked, come in the house. She got her legs wrapped around him. He got his arms wrapped around her. She jump up like, you know, she looking for something, and it really was some other stuff. It was like one time, it was just me, her, and him. We in the house. My sister was gone. We was on our way to leave and going to the store. And I was first, then Nene, then him. Nene bent over. She act like she dropped her kids. He's all like this behind her. He's standing there. Back on her, left on her and stuff. He is a cheater. I believe it's been going on for the longest. It took for me to move in to understand all this. My sister, she, she's scared. She's hurt right now. They have a three-month-old baby. He, he careless. He, 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 he's crap. He's crap. He's not worth nothing. I don't like Nan one of them. Nan, they think she's better than everybody. Nan, they always throwing her butt up in his face. She, you know, be sitting there weak and giving, you know, blowing kisses at each other. You know, they sit there, they talk to each other on the phone. He plays like he's talking to his mama the whole time, talking to her. You know, it's just, it's, it's a bunch of stuff, Steve. Just bull crap. <laughs> just bull crap. Sounds like Nene saying a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Saying a lot of Nene? Huh. I think it's more than that to it. Yeah, the whole leg wrapping around, he's wrapped around. Oh, her. yeah, come in. She got her leg all up like this. He got his arm around her, and she... What, what you looking for? What is you doing? Come on now. And what did she say? Oh, I'm, I'm looking for her. Uh, you looking for what? You stuttering. You can't even tell me what you're looking for. Come on now. I was born yesterday. I can't wait for Ye Nene to come out. Oh, and I can't wait either. Mm. Did you ever ask your sister's boyfriend what was going on? No. Why? When it's, it's all right there in the open. Oh, so you don't need even to confront. You just know. I, I so, but know. But you, you told your sister. Yeah, and, you know, she... 
She, because does your sister see the same things that you see? I mean, a little, but I think she's trying to ignore it purposely because she's that in love with him. You know, she don't want to let him to go, but the truth is the truth, and she need to get him up out of her life. And then that. Go for it. Um, is, is Chris a good boyfriend to your sister? Chris is a dog to my sister. Chris treats Nene better than he do my sister. My sister can't ask for a cup of water or cereal, whatever the case may be. It's fighting, it's all it is, no, no. But let Nene ask for something, he bows down. He runs. And if, if uh, Chris broke up with her sister and wanted to go out with you, you'd say no. <laughs> I can't stand him. I want him gone, even out of hard time. Gone, go back to Champagne, go home. Go. No, no, no. Are, are you from Chicago? I, I was born and raised in Chicago. Love you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, they came here and they took a lie detector test. If they fail, you think your sister will break up with Chris? <laughs> she better. She better. She better. She better. Because it ain't going to be nice. It ain't going to be nice. Not at all. Uh, you know what? I'm not putting up with it no more. Him and they, they hit the <laughs> She thinks she got a family, and she really and, don't. And you know what? And, and with this show, I'm not feeling nice, you know? I'm not feeling nice. I'm feeling it should be a little explosive. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Let's bring up Nene. So she says she walks in, your legs are wrapped around Chris. Never, so. never happened. What if I told you we had a videotape? Here's your chance. Did you sleep with her? <laughs> so she says she walks in, your legs are wrapped around Chris. Never, so. never happened. What if I told you we had a videotape? Are you uh, doing? Never, Chris, this? never will, never have, and you never will. Big, you a liar! She's a good ass. Don't swear. She's a liar. 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 She's a it's so a lot. Everything she said. She so never called me. Why do, you, why do you think that she thinks? Because she want Chris. She, she want a good man. Chris. She want a good man and she can't find one. That's why. I want so, Chris. She want a good man and she don't got one. I don't so want Chris. I like old ass. Old men. I don't want that. Look with her. Like how old? My man. How old? My man is 30 years old. I don't need okay, that trick so man. Nobody else. You don't got me? no. That's how you need that. My man. 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 Never Nene, look That's you. Look at me. You got to calm down, okay? Take it down a notch, and you can't swear so much. Okay. I can't use any of this. I can't help you. Okay. Sorry. So you like older men? Yes. Okay. You have no interest in Chris? None. Then? Okay. Now, seriously, she's pretty adamant. She she's said, pretty adamant. Okay. She's pretty crazy. She's pretty she, she needs okay. to get a Okay. That's what she needs. No, no, don't swear. So she says she walks in, your legs are wrapped around Chris. Never, never happened. That's she's all. A she wants her legs around Chris. That's why she's a magic. She's I, imagining she wants her legs around him. No, you she can't have it. You're not going to get it. It's gonna be just, this stuff is going to be resolved today, and you're going to be out the picture with your dumb ass. Now, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes. And you feel pretty confident about it. I feel real it. confident. See, I don't know which way to go here now. I really believed you. 
You're very fiery. I don't know what you f***ing with that mess of wig. Do you believe her, Stevie? Go with you. I'm going with you. Do you believe her, Stevie? Let's bring out this one hunk of a man, Chris. I was I was all these rumors you said that make. What you mean? Cuz you died. Cuz you died. You died. Take care of mine. You died. I take care of mine though. I take care of mine though. I do. I take care of mine. Work all day with me. What you mean? I'm coming to my house. I'm coming to my house talking about you doing some stuff you ain't doing nothing. Stop me. Hold on. Chris, are you cheating on her sister? With Nene, no, I love her sister. You love her sister. I love her sister. I've been with her for a year now. Born She's year. now Katrina's pretty insistent that you're messing around. I don't have to mess around with nobody. Why? Why do you think she's saying this about you? you no, know, I mean I don't know what's wrong with her. Like, is it? Is it would you want to be with me or something, Joe? You? Uh, I don't even take care of your you own baby. I take care of my I own. I take care man. of that. I'll take, take care of that. You ain't even take care of yours. You ain't even take care of yours. What diapers are whites have you on? What clothes have you on? What shoes have you on? No. I bought you some old man. That's where you get your money from. Bitch, die, you dumb ass. You dumb ass. Oh. Do you believe that he's cheated with Nene? If I find out this room, both of y'all is over with. Here's your chance. Did you sleep with her? If I find out this room, both of y'all is over with. You're saying Nene is just a friend. Yeah, she always been a friend. Uh, she you came took a lie detector test. Right. And you were pretty confident with the results? No. Yeah, I'm confident with the and are you cheating with anybody else? No. I always, I always like. Myself, I go to work, I come home, I take care of my baby, I do what I'm supposed to as a man. You feel me? I don't have no time for no little ass kid. I Seems mean, like you, know you got a lot man? of females in your house. <laughs> a lot of people. It's plenty of over there all the time. A lot of kids? You a kid yourself. What you mean? You a kid yourself. You a kid. Step up and be a man. Step, step, up, step up and be a man. Step up and be a man. You ain't about step nothing, You ain't about nothing. You ain't about nothing. You ain't nothing. You ain't gonna be nothing. You ain't never been nothing. I take care of mine. I take care of mine. Go. I'm telling you. You better go. What you mean? You better go. You will figure out after the show. You gonna see. You gotta admit. You gotta admit. That she's either very, very right, and she's very, very, very she's slow. very upset. She's very upset because of this, and she's not making up, or she's very, very crazy. <laughs> but I'm guessing, but I'm guessing that she's here because she loves her sister, and she's seen a few things. And, come on, these lie detector tests are not going to blow up. I ain't never, I ain't never cheated with nobody else. Uh, not Nene, especially. No, never. Let's meet your girlfriend. <laughs> if I find out, <laughs> both of y'all is over with. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. If he cheated, if he cheated, if he cheated, if he cheated. It's not true. So if it's over, it's over. Because it's not true. So if it's over, it's over. Because it doesn't happen. So it will ever happen. You're not really going to believe it. She wanted to be over. For no damn reason. It don't matter, though, because I've seen you looking at it before, too. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, I have. So why you ain't saying nothing about it? What you mean? I have mentioned this before. You never messed around with Nene? No, I never messed around with Nene. Now, what if I told you we had a videotape that we had in the house? Not yeah. this man, never. What? Skinny ass. She kind of take. And we went in your house. I, want I got my and own. We put a videotape, and we have that videotape evidence. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I, 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 I,
<laughs> He's like, damn, how did I get in my house? Okay, do you think, this is your man. Now, your sister's very passionate. Uh, how long have you guys been together? A year. And you have children together? Mm-hmm. You have a child? Um, do you love him? Mm-hmm. Do you believe that he's cheated with Nene or other women? And why yeah, he have this bitch lie about, about your man saying he don't take care of his baby? Don't he take care of his baby? He don't why do she... enough. He don't do enough. I don't do enough. No, you don't. I don't do enough. Because you don't. What I you do. mean? That's if I'm do. saying you don't do I'm enough, paying, I'm paying the bills. You, you ain't I'm paying, paying nothing. The bill. What bills you paying? I'm paying all the bills. You can't even buy her 50 cent juice if she needed it right now. You got me messed up. <laughs> you got me messed up. You're only 19 see, years old, right? In this test. I'm a kid. Oh, yeah. see? He I, might be he might be weighing over his head. She's too much for him. Right. Too much. Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't gonna she never be nothing. They love it. Let them be together. Stop nah, hating. she don't Stop like hating. it. You Stop stay about the people. I'm this not saying. This is my business. This is right. my business. I've been together. Listen. I've been with them since they've been okay. in a relationship. Okay. 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 What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? Oh, well, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm not saying that yeah, you, they can't be in love. I'm just saying at 19, hmm. he might be weighing over his head as being a dad and a provider and everything else. Hmm. That's it. What you mean? He's, I thought you should probably shouldn't be down. having kids with 19 year old guys. You know. Kendra, Kendra, do you believe that your friend, you're good friends with Nene, right? Yeah. Do you think what? that she do you think what? she would do that to you? I don't know. You don't know. It's possible. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything with your own eyes that they might be messing around? I really I told you I, I mean, I seen eye contact going on, you know, it's just fishy. Real fish. For example, like when he was in the shower and he slid the phone in the shower. And I ain't told no one in the shower. He was in the shower. And she opened up the door while he naked? Never, oh, bitch. No, never no, happened. No, never. No, never. No, did you see never that? Happened. Have you seen it? Why you ain't told me? That's fine. Nay, nay. I'm gonna. I got. I gotta go on record here. I believe you, only because you're so passionate, and 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 I think you truly look out for your sister. Do I love my sister? Right. Sister right. Death? And I don't think you would make up all this. No. And she loved her sister. She would have disappeared for wait, no, two years. What, and she but, loved hey, her sister so listen, much. Listen, Until she okay. needed to But you know why? Hey, but you know why? 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 No, I don't know you. I don't want to know about you. Hold on. Hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong. When I said, did you ever mess around with Nene, you said, not really. What, what does not really mean? Because, I mean, not really mean by saying that. What you that mean, not really? Not he, what you mean, though? Not really. It's not She's like, translating for me. I mean, not messing around like that. You know what I mean? Did you ever like, mess around with her? No, I have not ever messed. I never messed around with her. So she should pass this lie detector test, right? Okay. Who thinks yeah. Nene's telling the truth? One, two, three, four. Those are the real people right there. Four people. Four real people. Four real people. Uh, we asked Nene, have you ever had sexual contact with Chris? She said no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Chris? And she said no. And the results for Nene's lie detector test is that you... Here's your chance. Did you sleep with her? We asked Nene, have you ever had sexual contact with Chris? She said no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Chris? And she said no. And the results for Nene's lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. Here's your chance. Here's your chance. Chris, here's your chance now. We've done this show for six years. When somebody like this story where the female fails the lie detector test, the guy never admits anything. Here's your chance before I'm even reading this for you to say, you know what? She's right. 
I did. I had sex with her. You'll be the first guy that ever did that if you admit it right now. It's not true, so I didn't. No. You know, I ain't all I ain't never did nothing with her. Cause you you never slept with her. No, I never slept with her. You never had sexual contact with her. Let's find out. In the past two months, have you ever had sexual contact with another woman while in a relationship with Kendra? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman while in a relationship with Kendra? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with Nene? Jackie's family is concerned that her boyfriend Paul has molested her children. You see, Paul is a registered sex offender. And Jackie has continued to stay with them even after her two boys said that he touched them inappropriately. Paul says Jackie's family has always hated him and that he is innocent. Today, Paul took a lie detector test, and we'll find out the truth. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. My nephews told my mom that you touched him. I didn't do it. You need to leave him. I can just leave him. I love him to death. And I read your criminal profile. It says that in all likelihood, you're going to be a repeat offender. You're going to look me in the eye and tell me you love him more than you love your two children. You know for a fact that he is a registered sex offender. I didn't do nothing. I'm stuck in the middle. I don't know. And you told me that he touched your boys. Is that true? You get the hell out of here and you keep walking and you don't stop. We here today to get the, the results. The truth won't come out. He said daddy touched him. I don't put nothing past anybody. My character is being assassinated. You know you wrong. I'm going by what my son said. It ain't happening. And if he did, it's going to be hell to pay. Yeah, I'm a good man. And for me, to do something like that against my child, I'd rather take my own life. Did you ever sexually molest your son? You answered no. The most shocking results we've ever had on the show. I'm here today to find out if my sister's boyfriend really molested my two nephews or not. Uh, growing up, me and my sister were always really close. My whole family, we had a good relationship. Uh, we always did good in school. My sister went on to go to school to be a cosmetologist, graduated school. I had to leave and go away for a little bit. And while I was gone, she met Paul. And my parents informed me that she was dating a tier three sex offender. And then a few months later, I get a phone call from my mom, and she informs me that my oldest nephew has told her that Paul has been uh, to the ceiling and tickling his And uh, my youngest nephew, who <laughs> informed her that he's been whispering in his ear, asking if he can pee pee and Stuff like that. My mom informed me that she was gonna call the police and she contacted the police department and they did an investigation. And uh, there was not enough physical evidence for anything to be done, so it was dropped. And in May, my parents took her to court and she finally agreed to sign over custody of her two oldest kids to my parents. <laughs> but he had got her pregnant, and now they have a three-month-old baby that is living in their house. And when I got back, I went over there and I confronted him, and we've had Lots of altercations, and every time he don't say nothing, or he turns around and just walks away. So your your mom takes your sister to court, gets custody of the kids. Yes, sir. What what do your two nephews think is going on? You know, it on? tears them apart every night before they go to bed. They ask grandma why why the new baby gets to go home and be with mom, and why they can't. And, and how old are uh, the two nephews? Six. One of uh, the oldest is six, and the youngest is four. So they're so yeah. So they're 
they got to be wondering, where's, where's mom? What, what do you hope, you're here today, what do you hope happens? I hope my sister can get the hope and courage to leave him and get her kids back and just take care of her kids so their kids can be happy. You know, it's... It, what, is, what, what does her sister say about this? Does she love him? She says she loves him and she wants to be with him. And she just don't Even at the price care. of not having two of her children? Yeah. Your sister's boyfriend, uh, who is a registered sex offender, Paul, is here. Let's bring him out. This came up because I was a sex offender. It came up because, because my sex nephew offender six stole years my ago. mom. That you touched him. Because I touched the registry because I was 14. That don't matter where those kids learn to tell my mom that you touched them. I don't know. They just didn't get the out of their brain. Maybe you're six dumb. years old. Maybe your mom coached Even you because you didn't, didn't like touch me. them, you taught them something. They just didn't learn that from nothing. When what everything you was going on. Okay. When everything uh, was going on. on. Okay. You can obviously understand that any family would be concerned when a registered sex offender this comes. This has been in. going on for six years. Okay, right. So this woman takes you in. She's got two boys. Yeah, and I, I didn't do nothing. I played with them. So I you took never, them to the park. you never sexually. Uh, hold on, hold on. You never sexually touched them. No. You're saying no. Never. And you believe that the boys are saying that you touched them yeah. in an inappropriate manner. And you're saying the reason why they might be saying this is because uh, their grandmother might have coached them into saying this. Because she, the grandmother doesn't like you. No, she doesn't. Neither does their dad. This was something that you did as a, a teenager. Yeah, 14. Uh, you were 14 years old. But you are now a registered sex offender because of that. Um, and I read your uh, criminal profile back there or police report, whatever it is. And um, it says that in all likelihood you're probably going to do this again, that you're going to be a repeat offender. You know, when you see that, that in all likelihood, you're going to repeat this offense, wouldn't that give anybody great concern? Yeah. Okay. I know mothers that throw themselves in front of a train to protect their kids. You told me that he touched your boys. You get the hell out of here, and you keep walking, and you don't stop. He said, Daddy touched him. I don't put none past anybody. Did you ever sexually molest your son? You answered no. The most shocking results we've ever had on the show. I can just leave him I love him to death. I know mothers that throw themselves in front of a train to protect their kids. Well, really that's did. kind of unusual that she if, gave up custody of her two children because she wanted to be with you. She, I didn't ask her. She just. Well, I know, but don't you find that unusual? I mean, call me crazy, um, but I wouldn't want to be with a woman that would give up custody of her kids. I mean, I certainly wouldn't want any woman picking me over the, her children. She says she's going to get him back whenever we get everything straightened out. Fair question to ask you. Why wouldn't you leave until you do get it straightened out? Because I didn't do nothing wrong in the first place. Uh, but I, I didn't, right. I didn't right. do what Okay. Thing. You say you didn't do anything wrong. But two, a six-year-old and a four-year-old little boy are paying the price. Yeah. They, they didn't do anything wrong and they don't get their mother. So wouldn't you say, you know what, I can't be selfish here. I'm going to go away so those two little boys can be with their mother until we work this all out. You can answer that. She told me not to leave if I didn't, I didn't do nothing wrong. You took a lie detector test, right? Yes, I did. Because you're here because you want to clear your name and you want what to happen everything to everybody to stop saying hey I touched these kids and it comes out I didn't really didn't do I would I'd like it to stop and you would like your girlfriend to have her kids back yeah okay 
I want to ask both of you guys to leave the stage, and we'll get to your live text with us later. Um, let's bring out Jackie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going to be a little hard to talk to me sitting all the way over there, right? Yes. Okay, so why don't you come over here? You want to understand why people are upset, right? Yes. Um, you, you had two children from a previous relationship. Yes. Uh, you meet Paul. Yes. You start dating, and at some point, he says, oh, by the way, I'm a registered sex offender. Yes. Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. And your response to that was? I just didn't know what to do or what to think. Well, I went and talked to my mom, and she wanted me just to leave him, but I couldn't just leave him. I love him to death. You love him to death. I, I hold on, also hold on, love hold on. my kids to death. So at some point, um, the allegations came up that Paul had in inappropriately touched your children. Yes. How did you find out about that? My mother called me up about seven months ago and told me that my Two children were telling her that Paul was touching them inappropriately. Okay. And what did you do? I just broke down and cried. I didn't know what to do or what to think. And when you were finished crying, anything. what did you do? Well, I talked to him about it and confronted him. And, and, what, he, and said, what did he say? He swears to God he didn't do it. So we called the police, did the investigation. There was nothing found. There was no evidence or anything like that. So they dropped everything, and I stayed with it. And how long have your children not been living with you? Oh, probably eight, nine months. They've been with my mom for a while. Yeah, it's a long time. I, I'm sure your kids are thinking, like, Mom, how come you're not? Yeah. Because you have a little baby. It tears us all apart. Right, and you take home the little baby, right? Yes, I do. Why wouldn't you say, you know what, Paul, you're going to have to leave and, you know, totally figure something out. Why wouldn't you do that? I love him. I do. I love him to death. Does it concern you that in his uh, report, criminal record or whatever is that was provided to us, that it says that it's very highly likely that he is going to repeat this offense? Does that concern you? Yes. But not enough to leave him. I'm stuck in the middle. I don't know. You're stuck in the middle. I feel so sorry for your kids. I don't know your kids. I've never met your kids. And I feel bad for them. Because their mother won't pick them over anything else in this world. I know mothers that throw themselves in front of a train to, to protect their kids. Tell me you love him more than you love your two children. You told me that he touched your boys. You get the hell out of here, and you keep walking, and you don't stop. He said daddy touched him. I don't put nothing past anybody. My character is being assassinated. Did you ever sexually molest your son? You answered no. And we asked you, are you covering up for your boyfriend, Paul, for molesting your two children? You answered no. Did you know the signs that your sons were being sexually abused before the molestation accusation came out? You answered no. And the results came back the same for both questions. And they came back inconclusive. <laughs> and for an inconclusive... Uh, results, I want to bring out Dan Ribikoff, who's going to explain this. Hey, <laughs> come on, Dan. Um, this is one of those stories that, uh, you know, even turns my stomach a little bit. Brings tears to my eyes. Uh, she comes on here, and you ask her two questions, and it's an inconclusive result. Right. Can you explain that, Dan? Sure, Steve. So inconclusive doesn't mean pass, doesn't mean fail. 
It means that we can't render an opinion on the basis of the polygraph charts that were created by the examinee. She takes some medicine and she has some medical issues, so it's not uncommon that those tests come up as inconclusive. All right. Um, but you were able to come out with a conclusive test result for Paul? Yes, Paul right. was tested and his results were conclusive. Thank you very much. Thank you. We asked Paul, have you ever had any sexual physical contact with your three-month-old son? He said no. He told the truth. We asked him, have you ever had any sexual physical contact with Jackie's four-year-old son? He answered no. And Paul told the truth. We asked him, have you ever had sexual physical contact with Jackie's six-year-old son? And he said no. And he did not tell the truth. Let me take that again. Let me take it again. I did not do it. I didn't do anything sexual to him. You, you're asking to take the test again? Yes. How many times did we give it to you? Once, I thought. Once? I said We gave it to you one time. That's what I said. How many times did we give it to you? You asked me a question. I'm asking you another times. question. How many you, times did we give you that test? They asked me the same question three times. Three times. Yes. Guess how many times you failed it? How many? Three times. I didn't. Okay. Then how did I okay. teach him sexually? Let me tell you something. It's, it's a shame that you're going through life and you're really screwing up some young boys, all right? It's horrible. It's really horrible that you're doing that. And hopefully, you'll end up in jail and then you won't be able to do it to anybody else. Well, what? Well, what's even more horrible than a guy like you who's doing it is the mother that it protects a guy like you. You get out of my stage, and you get out of my studio, and you get the hell out of here, and you keep walking, and you don't stop. Chris and Jamie Lynn, thank you for being on the show. I commend you for standing up for your nephews, for being involved in their lives, and fighting for them. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. You came here because you wanted the truth, and you got the truth. Yes. You got the truth. You had the truth before you came here. We just verified it for you. So if your love for Paul is so strong, and you don't know what to do, and you know you're going to go back, and you're going to try to work things out, and you're going to ask questions from Paul, then you go out this door. But there's a door over there that says there's two lonely kids that want their mother back and they want to go home with mom every night just like that little baby. And then there's Paul that doesn't want the empty bed. Where are you going? I'm going to go see my babies. Where are you? <laughs> Which door are you picking and just walk out that door? I'm going to go see my babies. <laughs> He said daddy touched him. I don't put nothing past anybody. Yeah, I'm a good man. And for me to do something like that against my child, I'd rather take my own life. Did you ever sexually molest your son? And you answered no. The most shocking results we've ever had on the show. Shaquayla demanded a lie detector test to find out if her boyfriend, Ronnie, sexually molested their two-year-old son. Oh. 
Ronnie says he would never hurt a child, let alone his own son. But he has heard rumors that this child might not be his, and he asked for a DNA test. Take a look. I'm being accused of sexually molesting my son by my girlfriend of five years, Shaquille. The doctors found uh, red bumps around his genital area. My son means the world to me. He what I live for. He what I go to work for every day. He is what drives me. He is what pushes me and motivates me to make him have a better life. With Shaquille, it has affected our relationship, you know, a lot because it was already trust issues there and this just magnified it. We live in the same home, but we're just like divorced, you know, just living in the same house. Now I'm being like monitored with my son and, you know, I don't feel like I should be monitored with my own flesh and blood. I know what's best for him. I'm the one who provide for him and do the best that I can for him. You know, I take care of him. We're getting the DNA test because she believes people in my family doesn't believe that uh, my son is mine. Because my son is very fair-skinned and I'm, I'm, you know, dark complexed. I hope to get the truth and the truth will come out. I will not fail a lot of Texas tests, period, point blank. If I fail, I'll walk myself to the nearest jailhouse that you have here in Connecticut. Shaquilla, why are you here? I'm here to uh, find out if my son was sexually molested by his father. And why would you think that that happened? Because um, when I used to change his diapers and stuff, he would say, Daddy touched me in his uh, bottom area. And um, that's the reason why. Did you uh, confront them? Um, I actually took him to the doctor, and I got him checked, and I told her that I was very concerned, and I wanted CPS to be involved in doing an investigation. And what did the doctor say? She said it didn't look like he had been molested, but since I had concerns, she was going to do the investigation, call CPS. And uh, was uh, Ronnie ever interviewed? They interviewed him a little later, yeah. And what came of that? They just said that everything looked it okay. They interviewed my other children and and um, also tried to interview the baby, but of course he's too young. Right. So they just they said they couldn't find any in you know anything. I mean, couldn't it have been that your son was saying, you know, Daddy changed me? Yeah, it could have been that, but I, you know, I just I'm not gonna go by. I'm going by what my son said. You know, he that's said my Daddy son. touched me. Yeah, he said Daddy touched him. And I asked him, I said, well, did Daddy touch you? Like, did he pop you? Did he spank you? And he was like, uh, no, he touched it. And he pointed to his bottom area. His butt? Yeah, his <laughs> yes. Um, and it broke my heart, you know. It did. Does it seem like Ronnie would do something like that? I don't put nothing past anybody. And if my son said it, then I'm going to go by what he say until I get, you know, further information. So what are you hoping happens today? Uh, I'm just hoping that it's not true. I'm praying that he didn't do anything. But if he did, it's going to be hell to pay. And, uh, <laughs> um, the boy is only two years old. Um, and I guess at that age, both of you are wiping him. Yeah. Wiping his butt. Yeah. And so. But he doesn't say mommy did it. He don't say mommy touched me. He doesn't say, Granny touched me. He doesn't say, My brother touched me. He doesn't do that. Right. So why say Daddy? Um, do you still want to be with Ronnie? Not really. Not really. No. And uh, why do you want a DNA test? Uh, because, you know, he's made a joke like, Oh, that's a white man's baby. And he said he was just joking. And I, I, don't, I took it seriously. You know? Um, Could the baby be anybody else's? No. No chance at all? No. Okay. You ever cheat on Ronnie? No. Okay. All right, let's bring out Ronnie. You know I would never touch my damn son like that. I don't, I, I don't you care. Know, you, say, you, you say you won't touch him, but my baby said it. And that's my son. That's my son. That's the only thing I got in this whole world. I'm going by what my baby said. Are you ridiculous? You don't apologize to me because you know you're wrong. I'm going by what my son said. I'm not wrong. I'm a concerned parent. I do anything for you and I can. And I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm a concerned parent. Okay, yeah.
and I'm a good man. And for me to do something like that against my child, I'd rather take my own life. Did you ever sexually molest your son? You answered no. The most shocking results we've ever had on the show. And for me to do something like that against my child, I'd rather take my own life. Did you ever sexually molest your son? You answered no. It's my son. I don't give It's mine too. It's mine too. The hell so you mean? What you saying? What you saying? That's my damn. That's my boy. That's my star player. That's what I'm you saying. You understand? He yours. He's mine. Absolutely. I'm, I'm his protector. He, and I'm, I'm his protector. I'm his protector too. I move, too. I move from my home and my family to be it with my son. And you think I'm going to do some you Man, are you from ready? Africa, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? We here today to get the, the results. The truth gonna come out. And it is too. It is. And when it do, then it, it, it do. You can be mad all you want to, baby. I'm mad too. Because um, I want the truth to come out. I'm going by what my you, son When you, you Ronnie, and I gotta imagine that's uh, gotta be pretty heavy thing. When you hear you're accused of molesting your own son, what went through your mind? Oh, rage. Rage. Yeah. I want to know. It, it, I know I didn't do it. I want to find out. It, it, I, it ain't happening. Yeah. Hush it okay. up. Don't, it don't, don't, don't yell out. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about okay. me. Okay, don't, don't, don't. And when I'm proven innocent, all oh, y'all gonna stand up. I'm a good man. I go to work every day I'm day to provide for my family, for my kids, everything. When he needs something, I'm the provider. And for me to do something like that against my child, I'd rather take my own life. So I guess what I'm saying, CPS is investigating because somebody went to CPS. Yeah, the doctor said he had a right. rash around right. his gym. And, right. But before and, that, the baby was saying that you touched him. The baby is too. I don't care. He probably said I touched him because I, I wiped his butt. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. And that's the point that I'm out. trying to make is you're saying you're a good dad. You're. I know I am. You can't tell me nothing, Steve. I'm not trying to. So. <laughs> I'm not... First of all, I want to say I love your passion as a father, okay? Um, I'm, not, Steve, I'm not the bad guy. I'm not saying I'm, I, I mean, and my, I'm not, I, I, I'm not up, Can I speak? Yes. It's like, you know, my character is being assassinated by somebody who don't even know me, ain't never met me, and ain't never spoke to me. The doctor's not accusing you. CPS is not accusing you. Somebody, which was you, brought him to the doctor and said, hey, you know, I want my son checked out because I believe something's happening. People have to take action at that point. I respect her for that. And that's what I respect her for that. So what I'm saying is, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. If he came home and said, daddy, a man touched me, what you going to do? You know what? You know, it's over. Exactly what I'm doing. It's over. It's going to be over. Absolutely. You so, don't want to know the no, truth. I, I'm just and curious. That's what I'm, here for. I, I'm just curious. You know him a lot better than I do. He seems very passionate about this. He seems, you know, not like a lot of people accused on our show. He's acting in a very in a state that I guess I would act the same way if somebody accused me if I did this to my son. But I would be, you know, willing to 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 I, understand. Why you should understand here? me coming from a, you know, I'm I a parent. Understand. I'm his parent. He told me this. Nobody's saying you did anything wrong. You, I you think doing you're doing the right thing. You're doing what you're supposed thing. to do. You right. supposed to do. And I respect you. And how what matters this, is how my has this affected your relationship? Oh, though? I mean, since then, it's, it's downhill. Down you know, down. I mean, you know, I go to work, you know, I provide for my, she know I break my back for any, I, our kids, them is our kids, them ain't just your kids, and you know what I do for them. Obviously, I can imagine what you want to happen today, but why don't you tell me? I know what's going to happen, Steve. You ain't got to read no, you ain't got to read the test, man. You ain't got to read none of that. Because you're going to pass? I, man, I'm, I know. And the DNA test is going to come back what? That's my star player. Okay. Find out if he is your star player. You came here, you took a DNA test, Ronnie, and the results of that test is you are the father. I already knew. I already knew. I already knew too.
too. Now everybody knows. Today, I want the truth to come out about everything. Are they his kids? Yes, they, they are. Okay. She does not change their diapers. She does not give them baths. His, his hair was completely infested with lice. These little things crawling around everywhere. She's not fit mom. Correct. Why do you think this is going on? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. She, she has been herself? more of a mother Does in three months than herself? you have been in three years. You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mama to Guess my what? kids. No. How can you accuse me of this, Brad? You know I don't hit her. You don't have my daughter That's comes twice. to me with bruises, oh, with scratches, bruises. ball fights all over. Since we split up, he's trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. I want to fight for my daughter's safety. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? If Does your daughter get hurt because you're a neglectful mother? No. And you put this lie with Hector Pest. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you feel? Because you lie. At the age of 12, Coleman got Mandy pregnant with their first child. And since then, they've had two more children. But now, Coleman has some concerns. He says Manny is an unfit mother, and he thinks he might not be the father of either child. Take a look. I'm here today to prove to my ex-boyfriend that he is the father of our two kids. Me and Coleman were off and on for 12 years. I got pregnant with our first child. I was 14 and he was 12. We were very scared. We were shocked. We didn't know if we were going to be good parents, if we were going to be ready. Coleman favors our oldest child, and when we broke up, he started denying and neglecting our youngest child. I was very, very angry, and I was hurt. Coleman has been with his girlfriend for two months, and I want to know if that's maybe the reason why Coleman is denying the youngest, if maybe she is putting things in his head. I have to hold my son when he cries for his daddy, when he goes through the door, and... He screams daddy and he goes to the room and he looks at my fiance and he's still screaming for daddy. Like my fiance, he doesn't consider him daddy even though he's been there, but he still wants his daddy. And I don't feel like this is fair to the youngest because Coleman has been in his life for two years and all of a sudden no phone calls, no show ups. And it just hurts, it really does. And I want him to know today that he is the father of our two kids. That way we can get over this and move on and be civil and be good parents to both of our kids. That's all I want. Uh, Coleman, that's your ex-girlfriend on the tape? Yes, sir. As she said, I've been a father since I was, well, 13 when, when she had the child. And <laughs> I've, I've done the best I can between school. I mean, right after that. I after mean, how good are you going to do when you're 13 years old? Well, I, I, I feel, you know, no one's perfect by any means. But I but feel I'm saying, 13, I mean, how can anybody expect a 13-year-old boy to be a good father? Exactly, and, and you're right. But in, in my opinion, I, I did the best I could. I, right. I went to school in the summers. I worked at 13 years old. I did the best that I could. So you get her pregnant, though, and I, I'm, I'm assuming the parents got involved, right? That's correct. And that child was taken away. That's correct. Because... Well, a 12 because, year old and a 14 year old. Correct. Because of our age and due to Mandy being so neglectful, uh, CPS did get involved and they took our child. So I only had maybe a week or two with my child directly and then I actually went out of town to work at 13 years old. What um, kind of job did you get? Did uh, I was doing like landscaping, okay. so handy, manual handyman labor. work, stuff okay. like that. Yes, All sir. Right. You know, our child got taken and I was still trying to do the best I can and then we re re reunited, trying to be. Uh, oh, did, did your parents separate the two of you? Well, they tried to, and I, on my part, I rebelled against that. I, I wanted to be with her. I wanted to be a family. I, Were I, you living I, together? I, yes, sir. At, at 15, 16, we... Got your own place? Um, at first, we stayed with family members and then kind of graduated up to that, um, as well as anybody else would do. I mean, it's it a lot very, older, but... It had to be very hard, though. It was very, very hard. I gave up my teenage years, my partying, my fun everything to be a father and then we we had our second child how, how far after the first child um let's see uh probably four or five years later so now you're like 17 correct yes right. sir at 17 were you planning on having another baby 
none of our kids were planned. Okay. And after the child was born, everything just simply... Well, it was a little boy, a little girl. It was a little boy. Okay. And a- after that, everything went downhill. What went downhill? Uh, the whole relationship. She, she was going out cheating. She's admittedly Sleeping cheating. Sleeping with other guys. Correct. She was just simply not being a mother. I was the housekeeper. But at this point, she's still just a young girl. And she is. But, but the difference is... is you I impregnated a 14-year-old. I stepped up. And she did not. She, she chose the going out, being with this person, that person, going and doing whatever it is that okay, she's and done. And that made you mad. It made that me made mad. It made you so mad. It made me mad. That you got her pregnant a third time. It, it, it did. <laughs> Throughout the relationship, I, I want to be a family Why man. Why did you get her pregnant a third time after she's running around, cheating on you, not being because a Because I want to be a family man. Oh, I, come I, on. I, I want to I, I do what I'm supposed to, what, what I'm, as a man, supposed to. So you get her pregnant a third time and you're still trying to keep it together, right? I'm trying to keep it together for my boys. Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. Why do you think this is going on? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. She has herself? been more of a mother Does in three months than you have been in three years. You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mom to my what? kids. No, Guess no. what? Guess <laughs> Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. Why do you think this is going on? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. Not she has been herself. more of a mother Does in three months than you have been in three years. Why do you say she's an unfit mother now? Simply because I've seen it. I've lived with her. I know everything. She doesn't change our kids' diapers. When's the last time you live with her, though? Uh, I finally got fed up with everything and, and wanted the end of everything to happen five months ago. Five months Roughly ago. Roughly about four or five so months ago. So you've only been separated four or five months. Correct. Yes, sir. And in those four or five months, she's not fit, Mom. Correct. I mean, within the whole three years. How is she unfit, though? She does not change my kids' diapers. How old are they? Two and three years old. Okay. She does not change their diapers. She does not give them baths for days at a time. How do you know this? Because I've been there. Whenever I go to work and my kids... So you, how often do you go over and see your kids? As of right this second, my two-year-old, I moved uh, roughly a few months ago out of town, about three or four hours away, and my intentions were to go back and get my two-year-old. I had to beg, Mandy, to take my you, two-year-old... Oh, so you have one of them? Yes, I, I have my three-year-old. You have your oldest? Yes, sir. Was she okay with you taking a three-year-old? She, she never has contested anything in the past. So she was they, like, they, The kids has always been with she me. She wanted you to take both kids? Yes. And she, you had to beg her to keep the two-year-old? Yes. I, I've, I've so always was, had the kids. She was never a good mom, you're saying? She's never, she's, never, she's never been there to even prove that she has or has not been a did mother. Did you ever finish high school? No, I did drop out to work full-time. Okay. Um, the living conditions at her house? I walk in there. There is rotted food. There is trash. My, my kids' toys thrown out over the floor in the kitchen. You cannot even barely see the trash can because there's so much trash. Then I go and get the last-minute things in the bathroom, and, and it's stopped up. It's, I mean, my kids could... Just, it's disgusting. Uh, you say there's lice and, uh, and on the kids and rashes? She didn't have them but a day and a half, maybe two days. Come back. My son, my youngest son, has a rash all the way halfway up his stomach. His, his diaper was just engulfed with pee and, and everything. And it was just disgusting. So then I change his clothes. I get him cleaned up. I'm doing his hair. And I see little things crawling around everywhere. His, his hair was infested and just completely infested with lice. I had to shave my two-year-old son head because he had head lice because of her neglect not taking care of it herself. What do you want today? Today, I want the truth to come out about everything, about to, to simply give me the peace of mind, because these are my boys no matter what. Even I, if the DNA test came back and said that. Even if the DNA test come back, they're still my boys. I, I love them. Let's bring out Mandy. How dare you everything say, I'm supposed to. No, you, you haven't. You've worked a day in your life. Mike, I do. every single thing. And you know what? The trash, you were living there at the time. You and kicked me out. I had to tell that That's landlord. That's a lie. I, I, then, I don't live like that, and you know that. Okay. I do not live like that. So I when, clean every day. So when we signed the lease, why did you have to leave and not me? Because 
Why? I, I talked to the landlord. landlord on my okay, side. Okay, what, 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 why do you think this is going on? Why? I, I think mean, it's his girlfriend. This has nothing been, to do with this Ashley. This has only been going on been for two months. Ashley's been more than you have ever been. In, in two months? months? In, in two years. months? In two months? Does she, she, she has been herself? more of a mother Does in three months than herself? you have ever been in three years. Oh, yeah, in two months. <laughs> she's been more of a mother? Yes, yeah, she's been in more three of a months. mother. Two she, months. And she doesn't have kids? No. She, no, she does not have kids that live And with how old is she? She's 20, my age. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'm not taking her side here, but listen to this story. She's a bad mom. She's this, she's that. But by the time you were 19 years old, you had three kids with her. Thank you. When, if she's such a horrible person, do you stop getting her pregnant? Okay. Hold on. Are they his kids? Yes, Steve, they are. Okay. When we had our child, I was not cheating on you at the time. After I had all you wanted to do was sit there. You had a porn addiction. You had a porn addiction. You'd rather masturbate to porn than have sex with me. Because you're teenagers. I'm here about the kids, Coleman. I don't have lice and rashes. Yes, he had head lice, and I asked you to shave his hair. Me and Coleman You never together, asked me, I, I did. Had head lice. You are how old now? 22. 22. Yes, and you're sir. 20. Yes. You've had three children together, right? <clears throat> yes, sir. And not the happiest of times, right? No. Okay, so what do, what do you two do after you break up? What do you do? You're in a relationship, and you're in a relationship. Really? At this point, don't you say, oh, my God, I, I'm, I, I got out of this relationship, and it's just crazy. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to make something of myself. I'm going to be a great mother. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go back, get my GED, and do some things so I can provide a great life for my kid. What the hell are the two of you dating already? You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mom to my what? kids. No. Guess what? Oh. My daughter Crack comes to me with bruises, oh, with scratches, bruises. dog bites all over. Since we have split up, he's trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. And you took this lie detector test. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. You're crazy if you think you're going to be a mom to my what? kids. No. Guess what? Guess You're engaged. I'm engaged. Two months. Three months. Okay. Let's bring out your fiance. You're crazy if you think you're gonna be a mom to Guess my what? kids. No, Guess no, what? No, Guess no, what? No, I'm no. a better mother. Listen, we're not fighting. Okay. We're not fighting, okay? You like this story started out bad, right? Yes. With children, not even teenagers having kids. And then what do you Oh, we're going to fight on stage? Really? Like there, we're not you, here for that. We're here for these children. Like, like, you haven't okay. been here for these. You kids. hadn't okay. so much picked up the phone and called me. Why would I it want says to? Hi. You haven't called your son you in Oh, really? Yeah. How many officers? Yeah. Two months. Who did a welfare check months. on you all a month ago? You don't call. You don't text. You don't do anything I want anything you to leave the stage for a second. Son. I want you to leave the stage for a second. Ooh, nothing. Leave nothing. Leave the stage for a second. Let me ask you something. You're, how old are you? I'm you're, 20. You're 20 also. Yes, sir. Why would you even want to be in this situation? In all honesty? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. He's a good man. How long have you been dating him? How long have I been dating yeah. him? Yeah. About three months. Okay, three months. You you're engaged already. Yes. What I mean, come on, man. I love him. Come he on! is a good man. I do. Two months. Three. Uh, that, yes. Okay, three months. It doesn't take a million oh, years to know somebody. No, it doesn't take a million because you'll be dead by then. Um, you said I'm his mother to her. Yes. I've been there. I've changed his diapers. For I've two given months. him the baths. Yes, two months. Longer than she ever had. That doesn't whole make you life. mother. You're right. She's mom. No matter what you want to say, no matter, you know, th this kid doesn't even know who you are after two months. What? 
Well, but see, that's how you handle things when you're 20 years old. Um, I want to bring Coleman back out, and I want to bring, uh, what's the girl's name? Mandy. Mandy. Let's bring out Coleman and Mandy. Oh, how you doing? Now, I, I hope you know, I wasn't, hold on, hold on. I'm I, here to find hold on, hold on. if these are my I kids. Just, uh, right. Simple I'm as just, that. I want to tell you, I'm not being mean to your girlfriend. She doesn't need this, and you don't need it. You don't need to be engaged. You don't need to be thinking about getting married. You need to be thinking about you and your kids. And that's what I have okay. done. Okay. You got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You just had a baby? Yes. The father of your child's name is? Nathan. So now you have given birth to four children. Yes, sir. How old is your youngest? Two months old. Two months old. Yes, sir. There is there like a movie theater in your town? No. Uh, 7 Eleven? <laughs> Nothing. I, okay. Uh, Nathan, let's bring on Nathan. Okay, no fighting. No fighting. Dude, okay. you are okay. Listen, no. you're not going to fight. Look at me. No. Look at me. This story is bad enough. That's fine, man. Okay. You're right. You're right. You left that house in, that, in the shambles. You're so you left my house. Dude, Wait, this is I'm that, taking over three house. houses. You three left. Houses. I'm taking three over two houses. kids. You because left. the bitch I'm taking over a me. woman you, you can't take care of. That's I'm a 20 year old man. I'm with my family. I'm a, I'm a man, bro. I'm a man, bro. Don't swear. Right. I took care of both you your kids. Your I'm taking you care of my kids. You got a job because of my Where's your two-year-old okay, ass? On. The only Let reason me... you got that three-year-old is because you seven took weeks, a weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. And I told you specifically not to take my three-year-old away from I had beg you to take when I moved to freaking San Antonio to get back don't in fight. nothing don't to fight. get stable. We're not fighting. I've had to pick up the pieces when you wouldn't be there, be there for your kids. When your dad, when your son cries and he cries for daddy, who do you think he comes to? Not you, because you left. Because, because I had to beg her. I changed his diapers. Okay. Because I had to beg her I to take him. Diapers. So I can I get settled. I support him. I but, support my three years. Okay. I've been okay. here three years. Can't be a father. She's been doing Listen. nothing but Listen. screw around. Hold on. So you got to get settled in to be a father. Come on. Oh. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Hey, let's hold yourself. Oh, my God. But she had to be cheating on him to be with you. Yes, sir. No. I didn't. I, I told the truth. I Elsewhere, bro. Okay. I've been with that's, him two years. Right. Hey, hey, you know, I love my boys and I take care of them. Oh, yeah. And that's what matters. Really? You moved into every one of my houses. You've cheated on me. Because I go out for the weekend on my birthday and come back and you're living in my damn house. You then moved. I got, you I were down move. there with another woman. I was there for my birthday. You went with. You moved with Are another woman. <laughs> I'm going to go back. I'm going to talk to Ashley. I'm going to bring her out. And then we're going to get to the re results. Okay? Everybody be. Tom. Ashley. What? You want to make me feel like a more no. than you already have? No. And you I'm, cannot tell me who I cannot, can, can right. and cannot I love can't, I can't tell you. Old. But now we're going to get to the results. Come on back out. Uh, Coleman. You're here because there are questions about the paternity. You have admitted that you did cheat on him at yes, times. Sir. Um, so we want to find out if the two children are Coleman's. This is the two-year-old. How can you accuse me of this, Brad? You know I don't hit her. You don't have My daughter That's comes right. to me with bruises, oh, scratches, bruises? Thumb bites all over. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? It's Does your daughter get hurt because you're in a collectible moment? No. And you took this lie detector test. So we want to find out if the two children are Coleman's. This is the two-year-old. You are the father of the right. two-year-old. Right. That's happy. That's good. I'm sorry. Uh, that was the DNA results for the three-year-old. So the Woo! oldest boy is definitely yours. <laughs> this is the DNA test for the two-year-old, and you are also the father. Woo! Of the yeah! So 
so that should be a big issue that's cleared up. Yes. yes um, Mandy, you took a, a lie detector test. Yes, sir. And we asked you, have you ever not bathed any of your children for a week or longer? You answered no. Have you deliberately left your children in soiled diapers for hours at a time? You answer no. Have you ever left rotten food around your house within reach of your small children? You answer no. Those three questions, the results came back all the same. They came back that you told the truth. We asked Mandy, were the reoccurring rashes on your children a result of neglect? You answered no. Were the reoccurring head lice on your children a result of neglect? You answered no. Have any of the children received injuries as a result of your neglect? You answered no. And the results for those three questions is you did not tell the truth. Woo! That's right. Let's not certainly applaud that. Okay. Yeah. It's not good because those babies deserve Well, and it's a very immature reaction. The truth comes out. Um, again, I mean, this. Is, hold on. I'm not. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to yell at you. No. This is. A, this is. A, this is a. It's not even a sad story. It's a terrifying story. Terrifying story. I got to imagine raising kids is, in your situation, an unbelievably tough situation. Right. Yes, it is. Kids still get lice. Kids, my kids go to school. They've seen kids in their own school getting lice. So, well, you know, I had them very bad. It, it's embarrassing, but it happens, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're not living up to what you should be doing as a mother in a lot of the cases, right? I agree. You agree? Yes. Okay. I want to do you more. Made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. At certain times, neglectful. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a big thing to admit. Knowing you had one child taken away. That's got to sting on some certain level. It's got to hurt. Yeah, it does. Okay. What you really want to do now is focus on, on making sure that no other kids are taken away. Thank you for being on the show, and thank you for being on the show. But you guys can leave. No, not you. Oh. And not Coleman. I want to talk to your parents. Um, Coleman, Coleman, I'm going to keep talking to you. The point is, this show is about the two of you and your children. We have admitted that kids got headlights being neglected. The two of you have to work together so the kids are never neglected. So the kids never, if they have head lice, it gets taken care of right away. The, the kids don't get rashes on them. If we can offer you something after the show with parenting, some counseling, something to help you focus the right way on your kids, we're going to do that. And whether you take it, again, that's up to you. I want to get along with you, Coleman, and I want to be a mom to both of them kids because I gave birth to them. I want to do counseling with you. I want us to get along, okay? I am, I am going to file for full custody, just so you know. The show's over, and I wish you all the luck. I hope, I really hope that you make right by your kids, and someday you might. I don't think it's going to happen right now. Tonight, when I go home and I kiss my kids in bed, I will be thinking about yours. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. My daughter comes to me with bruises, with scratches, bruises. dog bites all over. Since we've split up, he's trying to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. And you took this lie detector test. Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. Joanne emailed my show because she wants a lie detector test to clear her name. You see, her ex-boyfriend, Bradley, has accused her of hitting their two-year-old daughter in the mouth, causing her to have a busted lip. Oh. Joanne denies the abuse and says these accusations have been going on for over a year because Bradley is trying to gain custody of their child. I'm here to prove that I have never and I would never lay a hand on my daughter to hurt her. Me and Brad got together when I was 15. He's, I, mean, I got pregnant at 16. I do everything I can for her, and I would never hurt her. In June, her and another child were playing in my house, and she, they were next to the door. I was outside smoking. The, doors, oh, the big doors open so I could see them, and the other child had pushed her out the front door. She had smacked her face on our porch. We had a wooden porch. Her 
lip was bleeding. I cleaned it up and everything, made sure it was okay, and I called him and I told him about it. And he said that every, he acted like everything was fine. And then, so you actually called your ex and said, "Hey, our daughter uh, had a play date. The other kid pushed her. Yes. She smacked her mouth." Yes, and I she told got... him what had happened because we were leaving in a, a couple days after that to go vi visit family out of state. When we got back in the beginning of July, CPS showed up at my door and said that someone had called them and said that her lip got busted open and that it was suspicious and they thought that it was due to child abuse. I told them what had happened and they talked to other family members and the only person that had seen her outside of my household was him and I told him exactly what happened before we even left and I think I honestly believe that he called them to try to take her from me. He's threatened to take her from me before. He said that he could take her out of state and just take off with her and that nobody would do anything about it because he's on her birth certificate. And it, it's either that or the fact that he's still mad that I'm not with him. I don't want to be with him. Why did you guys split up? Because we were together for three and a half years. We got together when I was 15. I had her when I was 17, and after I had her, it was just, we were always arguing. There was not a day went by that we didn't argue. What did he start to accuse you of after the baby was born? Every time she would get a scrape or a bruise or anything, he would call me and ask me, where is it from, how did this happen? And how old at, at the time of the baby is this when he starts saying this? We split up when she was a year and a half. Okay, so the baby at this point is walking around. Yes. All right. Since we've split up, he's accused me of that. He's accused me of leaving her unattended for long periods of time. You ever leave her attended? No, I do not. What happened last week? Her and another child were in the living room. There was other family members in the house. I had gone downstairs to look for some paperwork, and I just I heard a boom. When I ran upstairs, one of the our old TV that had been sat on the floor had gotten pushed over, and it landed on her toe. And she was screaming, she was hurt, we thought it was broke. We rushed her to the hospital to go get x-rays. And I didn't, I, of course I didn't call him. I was worried about her foot being broken. And it, she and got the x-rays done. you did the, the right thing, done. you took her to the hospital. Yeah, and she got x-rays done, her foot wasn't broke, everything was fine. And when we got home, we went to sleep and he was mad about, about me not calling him. And it's, Does your daughter get hurt because you're a neglectful mother? No. She, she's two. I can't put her in a bubble and just... Uh, listen, you don't have to sell me because I have a son that cracked his head on a Tonka truck and needed stitches. It happens. Um, but sometimes kids are neglected. Somebody's not watching them and things can I don't, happen. To I don't leave over. her. I don't leave her unattended like that. He does, says, does your ex admit that he called CPS? No, he will not. He keeps saying that he hasn't. But what he do you want to happen today? I, I want to prove that I that I have never neglected my daughter. I've never hurt my daughter. I would never. And I just, I want all this to stop, the accusations and everything. He just needs to know that I, we're not together. We're not going to be together. And think, we need to get along you, for her. Do you think your ex is mad at you because you're not with him? I think that's part of it, yes. Well, we, let's beat him. Let's bring out Bradley. Can you accuse me of this, Brad? You know I don't hit her. You don't ever call me, tell me that Paul, you did. No, I do. Paul, you and did when not I don't, call me it's because me. you accused me of it. She busted her lip. You never called me. I saw her and saw Paul, that busted I didn't lip. Call and I asked you. Paul, because you weren't even I home did. when I picked her up from no, I you was home because I was right before we left toe. state. How can you sit here and accuse me of child abuse? You see her twice a week. Joanne, my you daughter comes to me with bruises, with scratches, bruises. bug bites all over when you know damn good and well that she gets bug bites and they swell up like crazy. And I take and care of them. And you take her outside I all take time. care really? of them. Who's the one that goes, by the, the one that goes by the cream? Bradley, um, some of the stuff that you're describing, the bug bites and the bruising and stuff, I can't stop I would just that again stuff. I'll say if it was if you saw my son at certain points, you'd think I was the biggest child abuser in the world. Okay? You know, I understand children get hurt. It happens. It does happen. But at the same do you time, believe though, that, do you believe she is neglectful? 
At points in time, yes. Do you believe that? <laughs> at point, on, at points in time, okay. she is the best mother in the world, but at the same well, time... Well, you're not the best mother in the world if sometimes you're neglectful. Well, yeah. But, okay. I mean, at the same time, though, she's 19 years old. You know how many times I get phone calls? Hey, will you come get our daughter when it's not my day to have her? Well, you probably just, shouldn't have just, a child with a 17-year-old so woman she can go then, out right? and go party. Have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations? Let me explain this very scientifically. You know how you failed? Because you lied. Are you unhappy that you guys broke up? Of course I am, but that's not the big issue. Uh, wow, well, I mean, that could I, be part of the issue. It, it, I'm sure it is part, part of the issue, issue but... There you go, that's I very mean, healthy I, to me. I, I do love her still Would 100%. you take her back? Of course I would. If she grew out of this little childish stage of what she's well, doing... Well, you know, at the childish stage, uh, she's still she, basically well, exactly, a child. Exactly, exactly. She's and that, 19 years old. That's why whenever You're it came down to... You're 15. Well, that's why when it came down to us splitting up, it was... What else am I going to do? You want to go out and have fun? You, you want to go party? You want to go enjoy? What did you think was going to happen when you started sleeping with her? I knew it was going to happen. Uh, well, then we, you can't yell we, at her we for were, what you knew what was going to happen. See, we were in love, though, Steve. We agreed to have our daughter. Our daughter was completely planned. It wasn't like... And you thought that was a good idea? Well, uh, at the time, yeah. But I'm assuming... You really thought that was a good at, idea? At the time, yeah. I, How old were you at the time? I would have been... He was 21 20. when our daughter was born. I was 21 when our daughter was born, and I was 20. You were 20 when she... Okay. So. You were 20 and she was 17. Yes, sir. Or 16. I was 16 when you I got pregnant. You were pregnant. So you thought, oh, as a 20-year-old, that's a good idea. Good plan. Get a 16-year-old pregnant. Oh, well, I was with her for, what, two years before we ever got pregnant? The point is, you impregnated a 16-year-old. I, I understand that, Steve, but at the same time... We were in love. Her, fa her family was consensual. She was consensual. But Everything most high school was... romances break off, and uh, it's not Exactly, and that, that's not where the problem in lies, though. I, Did you I, call CPS on her? I called after the fact of them already investigating. What she failed to mention is that uh, DCFS was actually investigating her to the living conditions of the house that she kicked me out of. Are you really and, mad at her because she's seen other guys? Oh, I, I'm mad about the living conditions of my house. You don't get mad life. about that? No. I, of he course, does. to an extent, He Steve. does. Every time, um, if, if I'm not seeing anybody, he will be the nicest person in the world to me. As soon as I get a boyfriend or I start seeing someone, he's a total My d attitude hasn't changed one bit. It's Is she a good mom? At points. Why but, are you here? Because she wanted me to come here. And I want to fight for my daughter's safety. And, and all uh, honesty, you, Is I mean, that what you're doing? You're fighting for your daughter's safety? No. I, honestly, yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I, yeah. I, I love my daughter. My daughter is my life. When my daughter I was believe born, you. He's I trying, believe you. When my daughter he's was trying born, to take Steve, her from when my what daughter he's trying was, to do. Well, honestly, if the lie detector <laughs> test come back to where she's telling the truth that she didn't uh, and she never has, more power to her. I, uh, more power uh, to her. More, well, more power to her to being a good mother. I mean, how but, about saying, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stop my apology? immature juvenile uh, stalking of her. Uh, and let her, because even though our relationship ended, she deserves to be with other guys or whoever she wants to be with. And you have every right to go on and meet another uh, sir, that, young that's girl, actually how maybe it's been. older than 15, though. Sir, that's actually how it's been, right? not going to lie. Right. Um, when we split up, when we split up at first, at first, yes, I did. I, I wanted her back. That was my thing. I wanted Joanne back. That's I wanted us to And you were a little it, crazy it? about it, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. I mean, what man wouldn't that, you know, time. was planning on getting married and... August of this year. But see, here's but, the problem you I have with that argument. You seem a little too possessive of her. And he is. Right. He's always been um, like that. You're allowed to check the crowd. All right, Joanne, you came here and we took this lie detector test. And we asked you, have you ever hit your daughter with excessive force? She said no. In June, did you hit your daughter causing her busted lip? You said no. Last week, did you cause the injury to your daughter's foot? You said no. Have you ever left your daughter alone with strange men for long periods of time? She said no. Has your daughter ever become seriously injured as a result of your neglect? You said no. And the results for Joanne's lie detector test, all the results came back the same, and they came back that she told the truth. I told you.
the parent. You are too possessive and you're too jealous of this young girl. That's the problem here. I can't You have, a have to at life. some point accept the failure of the relationship and for the sake <coughs> of your daughter, need to move on. And Thank you. At first, Thank Steve, you. At first, Steve, that was a problem. I couldn't move on. It's now, still a now problem. I could give who she's I was told that you never mentioned that you called. I was told before that you, at no point before today, ever mentioned that you called CPS until today. To her, no, because I didn't want her to keep my daughter away from me like she had prior. I had called the. I had called. We. DCFS. You came here and you took the lie detector test. I had test, called DCFS and we asked you, "Have you ever called CPS on your daughter's mother?" And you said. Have you ever called CPS on your daughter's mother? And you said, yes, you confessed. <laughs> With false are allegations, you, no. Are you serious? Did, what happened? Well, that was the second question we asked you, right? Have you ever I called on you, CPS I knew you did it. on Joanne with false allegations in an attempt to gain custody of your daughter? And what did you answer? No. And you did not tell the truth. I knew it! When, oh she called, when she had oh. my house, DCFS was involved because of the living conditions in my house. Bradley, I found Bradley, out that she got that bus and I called and said, Bradley, why is this? Bradley, and they told me, and I Bradley, said, well, you I might want to look at that lip. Bradley. I knew it. Okay. The question that you failed was, have you ever called CPS on Joanne with false allegations in an attempt to gain custody of your daughter? You answered no. And you failed. I don't know how because I was on the phone. You know, let, let, let me explain this. Hold on. Me. Let me explain this. Very scientifically, you know how you failed? <laughs> because you lied. Did you ever get custody of our daughter? No. You're not. Okay. You, hold on. Yes. You did a great job on the show. You got the answers that you needed, you, and you proved to everybody who's going to watch and say, hey, I went on a show. I proved I didn't abuse my <laughs> child. Good luck. Take care of your daughter, and I hope it works out. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank Steve, I'm happy to hear that she had never done... Uh, You're shaking. Sir, I'm... You have facial tremors right now. I'm scared that she's going to go home and tell me I can't see my daughter. She's not doing that. <laughs> she's, but she's not doing that. I mean, it, and she might, she she's might do it and, over and, and, and over and over. And mean, you know what? And she's a 19-year-old girl. Until anything's set in stone, and she's, I can't. Right, until something's set in stone. Um, you went into a relationship where you stole a, a girl's childhood. That's what you did. And it, see, we were both on the same page, though. You're I older. Mean, she was still 16 years old. Now, I, the, the, listen, if you're going to be happy and if she's going to be happy and if your daughter's going to be happy, you need to act like a man that your daughter's going to look up to. And I've been crying, Steve. I, I believe it. I believe I it. I believe it. But your daughter's not going to look up to you. She's never going to be happy if you don't let her mother go. And listen, Bradley, I'm telling you right now. That's the key to your happiness. You have to let her go. And I don't know how. I really don't. You go out and you do other things. You play sports. You go work out. You meet other girls. That's how you do it. You leave her alone and you go out and you live your life like you did before you met her. Good luck to you. After 16 years of friendship, Leon is accusing Dan of molesting his child. You see, Dan is now living with Linda, who was Leon's wife for 11 years. Today, we'll find out if the accusation of molestation is an act of revenge or a father's worst nightmare. If my son comes to me and says, Dan did this, then he did it. You know I never touched a kid. Best friends for 16 years. Why are you with his wife? You wanted to go with him because he had money. How dare you lie? You're all 
always be my son and my children. Then what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? You walked out on him, Let's Go home, Rex. No, I'm not. Is Dan molesting your children? No. Why is he saying that you did? Because I'm with his wife. He sleep kids. next to a child molester. I would never touch your kids, ever. How can you tell your kids that? You took a lie detector test, right? Yes, I did. We're friends for 16 damn years. That all went aside when you decided to bless my son. The results for your lie detector test is that you... I am on the show because my ex-best friend is accusing me for child molestation on his son. Leon used to be my best friend, and now he's jealous because I'm with his ex-wife, and that's the reason why he's accusing me for child molestation. Leon even said that I stuck my hands down the kid's pants and stuff while the mother walked in and said, what are you doing? And did nothing about it. These accusations are, are uh, ruling my life. I'm a school bus driver, and I think they laid me off because Leon called them and told them about this. I have lost friends over this that I knew for 30 years. It all boils down to revenge and a grudge and jealousy over Linda living with me. I'm like really angry and sad too. I'm angry 24 seven. I just wanna get this over with. I know I'm innocent, Linda knows I'm innocent. And I wouldn't be here, be here if I wasn't. I would be in jail right now. If these, if these charges were, or allegations were true. All right, Leon, that's the man you're accusing of molesting your children. He was Absolutely. your best friend for 16 years. Um, Ex-friend, thank you. But he was your best friend for 16 years. Yes, he was. Um, steals your wife, yep. the mother of your five children. Mm -hmm. um, would you be making these accusations? Because, let's face it, if... You know, he steals your wife. Uh, you were married a long time. You got five children. Are you just really angry at the guy and you're making these accusations? Absolutely not. If my son comes to me and says something's wrong, he did something, then he did it. So your son came to you and said what? Well, it first started with my sister. Um, my sister was giving him a shower. She went to wash his private parts up. And he says, no. And she says, why? And he says, he touched me. My sister says, who touched you? And he says, Dan. And this is Linda's Dan? And, you know, says, yeah. This is Dan. Dan did this. Okay. So when did this all happen? Oh, we were at the hotel room. And, you know, he says that um, his mother and my were in the bathroom. And he said he pulled down his pants and he fondled them. And then my wife walked out, saw it, and he was pulling up his pants, asked what was going on. They had an argument and left it at that. So your ex-wife, are you still married to her? Or? Going through the divorce. Going through the divorce. divorce. Soon. Um, but you're saying Thank your God. wife observed Dan do this? I believe so. Um, and didn't really do anything about it. Right. Um, you know, 16 years of being great friends with somebody, what happened? Money. Money changes everything. We were going through financial problems. Um, you know, no matter how hard I worked, it was never good enough for her. The, the drinking, the partying got to her. She was never a drinker, you know. Who, who's drinking and partying, hers or yours? Hers. Hers. So while you were working, she, she was, was out drinking and partying. Yeah. With Dan? With Dan. So uh, did Dan have money? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the beginning of 2009, uh, he came into some money from a back injury. Had like forty-two thousand dollars, and uh, you know, obviously she was there going, "Okay, I got my hand out. Let's go." So, you, <laughs> um, you believe your wife left you because your buddy got forty-two grand? Absolutely. Um, and Money he changes everything. And he was buying her drinks and. Oh yeah, you know, pay for her cell phone bills, take her out to lunch. Well, when that dinner. starts happening, your best friends with the guy. He yeah. Comes. Wouldn't you say, hey, what the hell are you, buy, you know, paying for my wife's cell phone bill? Absolutely not. He's my best friend, right? No. No. If my buddy started paying my wife's bills, I'd be like, what the hell's going on here? Don't do that.
He didn't think that this was abnormal behavior? No, because Dan actually was uh, prevalent to some, uh, my first, my wife's cheating the first time she did it. Well, your wife cheated on you before. Before. So knowing that he saw me go through that, you would not think that he would do it. He would say, like hey, that. he saw you suffer. Exactly. Do you really believe Dan did this? Absolutely. You do? Absolutely. Okay. If my son says he did something, he did it. And when your son said he did this, what action did you take? Well, my first reaction was give him a per permanent dirt nap, but I couldn't do that. <laughs> you know, Jesus I restrained please. myself. I called the police, did what I had to you do. You called the police? Absolutely. Okay, and you called the police, and what happened? They investigated. They dropped the charges because my son couldn't tell the police what hotel room it happened in and when it happened exactly. You know, uh, your wife and Dan say that you coached your son to say this. Absolutely not. That's not true. Absolutely not. You know I never touched a kid. Best friends for 16 years. Why are you with his wife? He your sleeps kids. next to a child molester. How dare you want? You'll always be my son and my children. Then okay? what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? You walked out on his bed! Go home, Rex. No, I'm not! You know I never touch a kid. Best friends for 16 years. Why are you with his wife? You wanted to go with him because he had money. How dare you lie? Your wife is staying with your best friend. It disgusts me. It disgusts me. Well, it it disgusts me. I understand that. That's... Not only does she walk out on five of my kids. So you're raising your kids. she next to a child molester. So you have your kids. Yes. And she's with Dan. Yeah, absolutely. And probably about $34,000 now. Right. Okay. More like zero now. Oh, it's, she, she made she, she made that. They spent they absolutely. went through that already. She, huh? she helped him out with that. Now he took a lie detector test before the show. Um, what if he passes? I'll probably apologize for the fact that you know he didn't do what he says he didn't do, and but he's still a home wrecker. What do you hope hope happens with the show? I hope all the lies and the rumors come to an end. Right. So you would be happy if Dan passes the lie detector test. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what you would hope for because right. you wouldn't want your son. I just to want. Actually I have... want to know the truth. Okay. I, I really want to know what's what's in his head. We're gonna bring Dan out. You got to keep your cool, all right? Do the best I can. All right. <laughs> Try real hard. Yeah. All right. Let's bring out Dan. <laughs> just come on up. Just come on up. Slow you roll, buddy. No, you know I never Slow touch your kid. you roll. You know I never touch your kid. Yeah, okay. We're friends for 16 damn years. Yeah. So how can you come here and say lies? Because if my son said you stories. did something, you did Three different stories. One to the you cop, did it. one to attorney, and one here on the show. You did it, buddy. Which story is You right? did it. No. If my you son said you did it, it, it said it. No. Never. Yes, you did. I would did. never do yes, that. Yes, you did. The fact that Lynn's with you no. doesn't it doesn't matter. nothing to me. Who was with me? Yeah. It doesn't matter. matter anything, You caught your kids lying. Never. And you know you did. Never. Leon, we've been friends for 16 years. Yeah. That all How went can aside. you say that? Yeah, I that did. all went aside when you decided to molest my son. No. Did you molest Leon? No, I did. You did it. Um, why is he saying that you did? Because I'm with his wife. Okay. That's why. That's a great question. Why are you with his wife? Because he kicked her out. And our friends were both for 16 years. Okay. Okay. He kicked her out? Kicked her out. Of why did he kick her out? Because he thinks that she was cheating with me. Was she? No, she wasn't until a, a year after. She got kicked out of the house. Oh, come on. Never slept with her at all. Were you buying her drinks? Yeah, I was buying her drinks. Were you paying her cell phone bill? Nope, I was not paying no cell phone bill at all. Were you giving her money? Nope. No money. <laughs> you I can was stand not giving her no money. Lie you up, buddy. No, I wasn't. not giving no money. I'm not giving no money. No money at all. Were you taking her out on the town, hanging out nope. with her? Nope, only place I took her was the Giants game. Oh, New York for three days when she no, never called No, it was only one day. It was only one day. Right. Okay. Listen, let's say what you're saying is true, okay? Let's say that he threw her out a year ago because he thought that she was cheating with you, but you weren't. But even a year later, you guys are best friends, right? Yes, we are. Best friends for 16 years. That means you never get to sleep with her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He says that at some point she cheated on him before, right? Yes, she and did. He, and that's got to be tough for anybody that, you know, you're with somebody. Yeah, I was wife, with him at the time. And it destroyed him, right? Yeah, it did destroy him. So you him. saw what it did to him. Yeah. 
and then you come so many years later and you do the same damn thing. After Logic. he kicked it her out. It doesn't matter. Logic. That's his wife. This is your best friend. And she was my best friend too. I met them both at the same time through another friend. It doesn't. Do you, you see nothing wrong with this? No, I do see something wrong with this. You don't feel bad at all that you're sleeping yes, I with do. his wife. Yes, I do. You live in your well, own world, buddy. No, I don't. You live in your you own world with your, your lives. Own world. But his own world is his world. Yeah. Whatever. You're his friend. You support him. Maybe you don't agree with everything, but he's your friend. You don't turn around and sleep with your best friend's wife ever. I'm here because I never touched your kid. You know I never did, man. Do you really believe that he's coaching his kid to say... Yes, I do. No. Are I you, were you? He tells the story that you were in a hotel room. You're fondling the little boy. Um, his wife walks in the room, catches you, and doesn't do anything. Never true. Never true. I would never, ever do that. You know that for a yes, fact, man. Did. We were friends for 16 years. Yes, you come did. On if now. my son says you did you something, keep you saying, did. You want that? Like, hey, come on. Believe me. You know, 16, 16 years, years, we're friends. But then you <laughs> his wife. These allegations are ruining my life. Say that again. His wife can't ruin my life like these allegations he's are making now. It ruins your friendship. Lose, I lost a job. It ruins your friendship. I know. It destroys his Leon, life. I love right? Leon to death. Destroys his life. I love Leon to death. Destroys his life. Yes. Linda stays with you, right? Yeah. Where's the kids at? With him. Okay. You don't feel bad at all that five little kids yes, I don't do. have their... I cry all the you time. Feel, you cry all the time? Yep. Yeah. I'll admit it. I just care less. I'll cry all the time. It don't matter. Are you crying when you're making love to his wife? No, I'm not. Oh, there you go. Nope. Let's bring out your girlfriend and your wife, Linda. How dare you lie? How I'm dare not lying you? about... How dare you? I'm not lying about anything. be my son and my children. Then what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? You walked out on his bed! Go home, Rex! No, I'm not! You took a lie detector test, right? Yes, I did. And the results for your lie detector test is that you... ...is Dan molesting your children. No. You walked out on his bed! Go home, Rex! No, I'm not! You come out here, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You, here's the guy. Who's the guy raising five kids who has to wake up in the middle of the night taking care of a kid that's having nightmares about him and you? It has nothing to do with me because you're the yeah. one that took my kids yeah. away from me. Right, you Nobody walked out, you, you had your bags for. packed and left. No, I did not. Yeah, you, you did. Me out next you wanted to go with him because he had money. You know. Okay, look at him. I love tearing apart <laughs> stories, okay? You're saying he threw you out. Yes, he did. And what did you do? I had to call my friend up and call him up and him and come get me. And then because you, he threw my stuff right. out on the porch. He threw your stuff on the porch, the so you had to call Because Dan. I had nobody in my life to right. help me. And, and, and you had to sleep with him. <laughs> Um, so I, I want to get this picture straight because I saw this all the time as a policeman, right? He threw you out, and you got five little kids in the house, and he said, oh, he threw me out. I got to go. Come pick me up, Dan. Yeah. He, That's how it he told me to leave my kids with him. He yeah. told and me you to said, me and yeah, okay, me And you said, okay. No, I didn't say okay. But you left. Well, what am I supposed to do? Call the police and say, lock him up. I was <laughs> Hold on. Am I being unfair right now? Am I picking on you? Who believes her story? <laughs> Leanne came home, threw her stuff out. They got five kids. They've been married 20 years. And she said, okay, I got to go because he told me to. <laughs> Who possibly believes that? I don't even have to give you a lie detector test. <laughs> Now that we clarified that, 
is Dan molesting your children? No. Did, did you walk in on him seeing no, him? No, he never final, did. No. Your, your no. Why do you think that Leon is saying this? Because that's all he's good for, lying no, about why do you sir. think? But why do you think he's saying this? I don't know. You have no because idea. Because I can't find out. Maybe until because later you're on. sleeping with his best friend. No, no way. That's that's not a reason why. You don't think that's a reason why? What other possible reason then, other than it's true, other than it's really happening? What other reason could it be? He was friends, best friends with this guy for sixteen years. Yes, he has. Okay, and you're now. And he knows he wouldn't even touch him. He knows it. But he'll touch you. <laughs> You don't feel bad on any level at all? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. Do you cry all the time, too? Every day, 24 hours a day. So every... Because of my children. They both said the same thing. Crying 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How can you two possibly be happy if you're crying all the time? I'm cry I cry a lot because over my kids. He took my kids away Go back. Me. Go back home to your kids. I call him and I go to You know, isn't it sad? $42,000, right? I know to a lot of people that's probably a lot of money, right? $42,000. Cash settlement, no taxes, whole thing. Forty-two grand. And I, I wonder, like, what would be the number on my two children? What's the number that I walk out on them? Uh, 42000 420000 4.2 million. No. There's no number on this planet that's going to make me walk away from my children. <laughs> how long have you been away from Leon? Almost a year and a half. And so how long have you been with Dan? Uh, at the same time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the truth comes out. You took a lie detector test, right? Yes, I did. And if he passes, which would be, I think, we all want. Yes. We don't want any child to be molested. So we want that. Love for it to come back. He passed it. And he said if he passes it, he, he would apologize to him for that. And, and that's about as far as I would go. That's exactly um, about as far as it would go. But what if it comes back and Dan does fail? I'm just curious. Of what. If he fails, then yeah. I have to leave. That's how I feel. Because these are my kids. And then where would you go? I find somewhere to go. Do you have any other best friends? No. <laughs> you got a girlfriend. Absolutely. And she's here. Let's bring her up. Your lie detector test is that you. Marijuana can cause paranoia. How much pot do you smoke? Huh? He thinks his girl is sleeping around. I know you cheated on me with my neighbors. Are guys climbing through the window? No. I've, I've never seen a dude act like that before. Could it be what he's smoking and not what he's seeing? You have destroyed my life. Plus. Naked chicks. On her guy's cell phone, next Steve. Did you have any knowledge that Dan had sexually abused your son? Let's find out. When you're laying in bed at night, do you think about your children? All the time, 24-7, yes. And do you think, like, man, no matter how good this is or how good dad is, I want to be with my children above everything, you know. Yes, and I have said that. And 
But have you done anything? I can't because he won't let me. That's yeah. cool. He won't let well, me well, in this yeah. order for right. me to see my He's children. He's not going to let you because you're his best friend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what message are we sending your children? What message are you sending your children, not me? You, when they know this is dad's best friend and now mom's sleeping with him. What message are you sending your children? You know, there are certain things that hold us back, restrain us from doing things that screw our kids up, that sends really terrible messages. But you, you seem like, you know, 42 grand, I'm in. No. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the tears, by the way. Um, there ain't going to be none. Okay. <clears throat> now, Patty, you've been with him for four, four months. Four months. Um, and what's going on? Uh, the kids don't like their mother. They've told me many a times she has walked out on him. She's lying. I love those kids like my own. They, they After tell four me. four months? They tell me they love me. They call me mommy. These are kids that their mother walked they're out They're not even on. your hold kids. On, hold on. You need and to they're shut not up. Call you no, you make me. Okay, hold you need on. To shut up. You make me. Okay. The little boy wakes up at night and, uh, he comes in the room. How old is the little boy? He's seven. Okay. Yeah, comes with fake tears. He comes in in the, in the bedroom at night. He's crying. He's screaming. There's mo mommy, there's monsters in the living room. That kid was looking at you. That's why. You okay. need to oh. shut up. No. He said the that's two why. monsters oh, were no. you two. No, no. no. He's he's calling, oh, 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 yeah. Me whenever I'm there, he's talking, I'm talking, ask him. Okay? Coach I take care of my kids. Coach Coach no, please, please be quiet. Coach please. your kids and look. Okay. No. Stop. Stop. He says. Hold on. Hold on a second. The only thing yep. I have to say yes. about this is, and I believe I you, but yep. don't you find it odd? Is it a little over the top that the kids are already dressing you as mom after four months? Because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for okay. a mother figure. Listen, hold on, hold on. But, Leon, somebody has to be the voice of reason up here. Absolutely. And, you know, I understand that you're hurt. Your kids have probably got to be traumatized, Absolutely. you know, unbelievably. But somebody's got to say, well, she's not your mom. We, I'm dating her for four months. They, this is not your... Hold on. This is not your mother. Uh, me and your mother have some problems here. Absolutely. We're trying to work them out. Yep. I mean, somebody's got to be like, let's stop the craziness here. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely right. And, and Penny, it's wonderful to come in somebody's life and, and if children are, are, have a void because their mother's not there and you're trying to fill that void with some, you know... You know, uh, I, I'm there to protect them and love them and care for them. Again, four months, it's... I understand that, but it makes me feel good that, that they feel safe with me. Right. You know? Um, but then you send uh, text messages uh, to Dan and Linda. Uh, he don't love Linda. They're my kids now. Uh... I don't break promises like the deadbeat mom, didn't she? I don't. don't. I don't break promises. These are my to those kids. kids. They're my kids. Okay, leave me alone. They're my kids. I have witnesses. The kids love me and call me mommy. <laughs> they do. I'm not gonna lie. I, but what's the point of this? Because I'm fighting back for what the things that they've said. You've to just me. entered the picture for four months. I understand that. Just kind of stay out of it. Again, because I miss him dearly, okay. and I don't care what okay. that bitch wait, says. Wait, wait, wait! I think you're. Well, hold on. Maybe you're going about it the wrong way. Ah, that bitch. Da ba ba. How about? I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna speak for you, okay? I'm gonna pretend I'm you. You know, Leanne, I'm really sorry. We were married for 20 years. We have five beautiful kids, and I really messed up. And I'm really sorry that I'm sleeping with your best friend. I really, that's, it was the biggest mistake of my life. Even though I liked Dan, I should have restrained myself and not slept with your best friend. But now being here on the show today, I realized my kids mean more to me than anything. And I'm really sorry that I hurt your feelings. But can we move forward for the sake of our children and, and let me be a mom and spend time? And I wish you and Patty all the best of luck. But I want to see the kids.
How'd that sound? That sound pretty good? Yeah. Sound like something you'd say? <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. Um, and that would all be contingent on Dan passing the lie detector test, right? Yeah. And you too. Let's find out. Be my son and my children. Then what are I'm... those kids doing at home right now without a mother? I would never touch your kid, ever. How can you tell your kids that? And the results for your lie detector test is that you. Dan, you took a lie detector test. I hope this is a case of somebody really pissed off that their best friend stole their wife. Linda, you came on the show. You were able to stop crying long enough to take a lie detector test? <laughs> and you were asked, did you have any knowledge that Dan had sexually abused your son? You answered no. You were asked, did you witness Dan sexually abusing your son? You answered no. And the results for her lie detector test is that Linda told the truth to both Thank questions. Thank you. I told you over and over and over and over Okay. Now, now I'm going to do the better response. See, I'm not telling you, you know, I'm telling you the truth. I really want to be in my kids' lives. See, that would have been a little better. But this is the one we really am concerned about. Like I said, I hope you pass. Because yep. I don't want any kid being molested, yep. being tortured. I don't want that. So for all sake, I hope this is a case of somebody really pissed off that their best friend stole their wife. Yep. Dan, you took a lie detector test and you were asked, have you ever sexually molested Linda and Leon's son? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. <laughs> told you? I told you we're best friends, man. We are best friends, man. I love you. I would never do nothing to you, man. Because <laughs> you're a No, I'm not. You're <laughs> so I will never you. touch your kid. Now you know the truth, OK? Now you know. Now you know. Now you know. And I did the right thing. I just came in my son. What did you tell your kids He's that? He's kid. Ah. What? You're a liar! Please! You're a liar! Have that! You're jealous! Have that! You are freaking jealous! Have that! You are jealous! Have that! What is that? It has nothing to do with money! What is that? What is that? You are so freaking jealous! Come make me! What is that? What is that? That's nothing! Why have you confirmed me to you? Because I don't want to be your friend! You can't find me in two years! You can't possibly be happy right now, right? No, I'm not happy. I'm still mad at him. You're still mad? Yep. You're mad at him? Oh, yeah. Extremely. Okay. Extremely. 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 Yep. Laugh all you want. It don't matter. Um, it don't matter. But this is, this is what happens when you sleep with your best friend's wife. Yeah. You, you end up on a talk show, and you end up getting... Everybody's crazy. Everybody's making allegations. And if you don't have any bad feelings about this woman that's not with their children anymore, that's not in their children's everyday life, then you're a dirtbag. I do feel bad. I, mean? I do feel bad. Been out for a year to get to see her kids. And he's the one but you're the coolest. Anyway. The reason why she's not seeing her he kids. He can still let her see her kids without me around. How come every time she showed up at okay. court, she didn't Stop. have a lawyer? Stop. Stop. Um, your oldest son, I believe, Leon. Oh, he's here. He's got something he wants to say. Let's bring him out. <laughs> How you doing, Leon? Good, how are you, Steve? Good. So, you guys are bickering at each other? It's supposed to be about the kids, right? You want to see your kids? Yes, I want my kids. You want to see your kids? Those are my sons, and I love you to death, and I'll do anything for my kids. 
because really? your father lets me, but he doesn't. You're my son, and I love Can you. Can you step to back death. about 10 feet? What the You're hell my do you think son. you are? He's 19. Good coaching. Yeah. Good coaching? He's a yeah, man. Good coaching. Coaching. Who are you to yes, say? I've been on my own for four years. Okay? No I make He's my own decisions. Kids. I'm my okay. own man. You know what? First of all, Dan, you are despicable. You're, uh, you know what? You're not a molester, but you're not a man either. And you, you break and violate every man code there is that you don't ever sleep with your friend's wife or girlfriend, anything like that. You got to live with that. You got to live with the fact that you're taking a woman away from her kids. You, get the hell off my stage. Hey, Steve, um, how does it feel to have sloth and the Goonies on your show? Don't worry about it. Um, and Patty, we're going to have a little family moment here, so thanks for coming on the show. No problem. But I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. Okay. Will always be my son and my children. Then what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? Will always be my son and my children. Then what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? What I have to say is, how do you leave five kids? Because your father did it to me, and he ruined our lives with the young. How did he do it? How? You how? ask him that, because he's going to lie to you. I have tried every day, 24 hours a day, to save you guys. Yeah. I love you guys to death, and I'll do anything, and he knows it. He just doesn't want me to be there for you guys, because he's got this new girl and thinks she's the mother of you guys, and she's not. I will always be your mother, no matter what. I, I want do nothing everything. to do with you, because you no, have done that's nothing. That's not true. You have that's done nothing. That's not true, because but he walk won't out. let me. No, I didn't walk out. I Listen to me, because I'm talking right now. You're my son. Do you son. understand me? No, you're my Get son. Out of my Face. No, you're my son and I love you. I'm not your son. Yes, you are. Really? You'll always be my son and my children. Then okay? what are those kids doing at home right now without a mother? Because he threw me out. He didn't That's throw why. you out. Yes, he you did. walked out. No, I you didn't. left with Dan That's and left I him by himself no. with no. no kids. That's not true. If you keep saying something over and over, eventually you'll believe it, and I think you're doing a good job of that. Um, and I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. She is your mother. I know you're hurt. You have every right to be hurt. I'm not hurt. It's the little kids that are hurt right now. But you're hurt, too. You're, listen, and there's nothing wrong with that. If my mom did the same thing that your mom, I'd be hurt, too. There's nothing. And even if I was 50 years old, I'd be hurt. This is your mom, and she always will be your mom. And hopefully, hopefully someday she's going to wake up and realize, man, what I did to you and those four other little kids, I can never live that down, but I'm going to do my best and try to be a good mom. It's not happening right now, obviously. But someday, maybe it will. But the fact is, you had a choice, and you choose to leave. And you choose to stay away. And you choose Dan. And that's, that's too bad. That's too bad for your kids. You're being selfish. You're putting your own needs and wants ahead of your own children, ahead of your own family. And you will regret it for the rest of your life. You can never really make up for what you did. You're playing house with Dan. So... I wish you the best of luck. I wish that you wake up out of the fog that you're in, the fog of Dan, and go back to your children. Nobody's saying... But I can't go back to him. Who's asking you to? <laughs> Adult relationships fall apart all the time. But your relationship with your children shouldn't fall out. <laughs> Now, you're not doing everything you can to see your kids. You know it and I know I've it. I've tried every day. You're not I trying nothing. You're I'm too busy with this scoop ball. But when I call them, I, I call my kids. That you he hangs call, up on get me. off the damn phone and walk your ass over there. But he won't let so me out of the house. He won't let me out of the house. He won't let me near my kids at on. all. You know what? Make all excuses you can. If that makes you feel I better, make excuses of why you don't see your children. Nobody, nothing can stop me from seeing mine. And I get the hell that. off my stage. Um, 
It's a terrible hurt that you experienced, um, but you're going to get over it. You're a big boy, and you got a new girlfriend that's, you know, seems like she's pretty crazy about you, loves your kids, so good for you. Um, like I said before, she is your mother. She will always be your mother. A lot of people have problems with their parents. They go through periods where they don't talk, they're not together, but someday they make amends. Hopefully, and I wish you all the luck in the world that happens with your mother, that some, someday you get into a good place. Um, for the sake of your kids, if she makes an effort, I hope Absolutely. you'll work with her to see the kids. Absolutely. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Everyone's got something to say about the Steve Wilco Show. Whether you love it, hate it, or have a funny comment, drop a line at Steve's Mailbag at stevewilkos.com. If I read your email on the air, I'll send you a free T-shirt. Let's get to my first email. Hey, Steve, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. I wonder, do you ever get burnt out? Do you still see good in people? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I love helping people, and no, I never get tired of it. I love having my show, but I also know that it's important to leave it here in the studio so I can be a good father and a husband when I go home. I believe in a basic good in people and their ability to know what's right and wrong. My job is to help remind people of this, and I plan on doing it for a long, long time. Here's my next email. Steve, my fiancé watches your show every day and loves it. I had problems watching it at first because I felt you were a bully. That's until I actually saw what a big heart you have for the victims on your show. You give everyone the chance to speak their minds until the truth comes out in the end. Thanks for being there for those in need. We watch your show together now, Terry and Sherry. Thank you for giving the show a chance. I don't bring guests on just to yell or throw them off my stage, but sometimes there are victims who have asked for my help with standing up to someone. I do my best to help everyone who calls the show, even if that means yelling in order to get through to those guests who don't want to listen or accept responsibility. Lisa wrote my next email. Dear Steve, for starters, I would like to say that you're an American idol to most people that watch your show. I know you're an ex-police officer and don't believe in taking the law into your own hands. I agree with you on that. But if you were in a situation where some guy was abusing your children, how would you react? One of your biggest fans, Lisa from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Hi Lisa, it's a scary thought to imagine anything bad happening to your children. And if there is someone who is single-handedly causing them pain, it's hard not to take the law into your own hands. Some of my guests have been in this situation, and I always remind them to handle it the right way. Go to the proper authorities and open investigation. Protect your children. Trying to solve the problem by yourself in a physical manner could make matters worse. You're no good to your children if you get taken away from them as a result. My final message is from David. I don't mean any disrespect to you, I just don't believe for a second your show is factual. Who in their right mind would want to talk about such serious problems on a talk show instead of calling the police? It boggles my mind. I only expect to get a hard-headed response from you. You strike me as that kind of guy that's never wrong. Regards, David. Hi, David. Sorry to disappoint you, but 100% of our stories and guests are real. They're here because they acknowledge that they need help. If we offer the chance to get to the bottom of a situation and provide the help our guests need, why wouldn't anyone with a problem come on this talk show?